Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Melissa. So today's video is a what's in my travel bag, suitcase, luggage. I don't know what I'm really gonna call it yet, but that's what I'm doing. If you are new, um, I live in Guam with my husband. He's in the military. So we are stationed here and I haven't seen my family, well either of us, we both haven't seen our family for about two years now. And we finally get to go home tomorrow January 16th, so yes, we are late packers, but we're only staying there for three weeks, so we didn't really have to pack much. But we also are trying to do an all-nighter, trying to stay up till our flight, because if you guys don't know, Guam is about 13, 16 hours to Cali, where we live, and that's a long flight, okay? Let me tell you. That is long, so we want to be knocked out the whole time. So if you like these kind of videos, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. But for now, if you guys want to see this video, just keep watching. Okay, so what I like to do is to have separate bags for different things. So this first bag is mostly hygiene and jewelry. So we have tampons and mini pads because you never know when Mother Nature will strike. A container for my earrings just so they aren't flying around everywhere. Some necklaces I know I'll be wearing with my outfits. A toothbrush because, hello, you need to brush your teeth. And of course, deodorant because you are going to be smelling that long flight. We will be staying at our parents' house, so of course she has toothpaste and shampoo, all that good stuff. Next bag is most important to me, makeup. This may look like a lot because it is. We have the basic brushes, Real Technique sponge, eyelashes, foundation, concealer, two eyeshadow palettes, and a ton of liquid lipsticks. For the side compartment in the luggage bag, I use this side for shoes and to save space, I am stuffing them with my socks and undies. This will also keep the shape of the shoe instead of getting flat and smushed by everything else. To save even more space, I am placing the shoes as if you were to buy them at a shoe store, so kind of like a puzzle. Right now in Cali, I know it's been raining a lot, so I'm bringing two very dusty boots. Converse for those chill days and for the flight I am wearing running shoes. Since I have a bit more room I ended up putting my straightener in here and of course my GoPro just in case we do some fun stuff. For the main part I have piles of cute outfits, pajamas, relax wear and bras. If you are packing for a trip you are staying for a longer period of time, a tip is to actually roll your clothes like burritos. That is what we ended up doing after realizing Eddie's things had to fit on the other side. <laughs> now for my purse. I of course need to have more mini pads for my backup, chapstick and my on the go liquid lipsticks, of course my wallet, some hand cream from Bath & Body Works, my phone charger, headphones for some music, mints and gum for those smelly people sitting next to you, snacks for the long flight, and I don't think you actually can bring drinks in, but if not, I will drink this as we wait to go on the flight. Of course, my phone, and when I am bored, I will pull out this cute planner that has pages to color on, so I bought some colored pencils. I didn't show you my carry-on, only because that just has all the tech stuff, like my laptop. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!